So, all right, we are recording. Hi everyone, my name is Erin Kennedy and I'm a transfer admissions counselor here at La Roche. With me is my coworker Tori Young who works in the freshman admissions office. We're really excited that you guys have joined us today to hear a little bit about our school and we're going to just dive right in and tell you about who we are. La Roche University was founded in 1963 by the Sisters of Divine Providence. We are a Catholic institution and we like to think that we represent the word Catholic in both its religious terms with our faith and with the term of it being welcoming and inclusive to all. Part of how we believe we exhibit this idea um, is how diverse we are. For being such a small school, we have students choose to come to our institution from several different areas of life. Uh, we're represented by 36 different countries, as well as 19 different states in the United States, um, including Puerto Rico and the US Virgin Islands. Being a small student body, uh, we're able to have very small class sizes, which enables our students to have a lot of hands-on learning. Um, our student faculty ratio is 12 to one. So we're able to give our students a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention as well. We've also been acknowledged um, for the past several years as a college of distinction, both in, the, in Pennsylvania um, and as a Catholic institution across the country. We've also been ranked as one of the best regional colleges in the Princeton Review for the last several years. Another way that we go back to our roots um, is through our course series called the LaRoche Experience. These one credit classes um, that students take over four semesters here at LaRoche help create a global citizenship. So they learn about what happens outside of our campus, outside of Pittsburgh, outside of the United States. Um, and we empower our students to become lifelong learners. All right, so I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about the academic side of La Roche. Um, so including in academics is our study abroad program, which is my favorite thing that La Roche offers because it's included in your tuition. So every student that comes to La Roche has the opportunity to go abroad with their flight, food, and hotels all paid for. Um, these are usually two week trips where you're going with La Roche faculty members, other La Roche students. So it's a very comfortable situation. They go about 10 different places every year and they change every year. Um, they've gone to every continent except Antarctica. So lots of fun options for you. This is an example of some of our students in China. These are some of our students in Peru. Some of our students in Greece another picture of Peru. And these are some students in the Galapagos. Um, one cool thing about our program is that we also have a Study USA program. So if going out of the country sounds a little bit scary to you, that's okay. Um, you could do the same sort of trip two weeks with LaRoche faculty, other LaRoche students, but go somewhere fun in the US that you might not get to go to otherwise. So we've taken students to LA, New York, Alaska, Arizona, Texas, um, like I said, just fun places you might not get to go to otherwise, um, but within the comfort of the United States. And we also have a semester long program in Rome. So if you wanted to go for the whole semester, um, you can do that as well. It would be the same cost of your tuition and room and board here at La Roche. But instead of sitting in class in Pittsburgh, you'd be sitting 15, 20 minutes away from the Vatican, which is pretty awesome. And I'm just going to run through some of the departments that we have on campus for our majors. If any of these departments or majors sound interesting to you, please feel free to visit our website. You can learn more about these majors in detail through our website. Um, so we do have business majors. We have an awesome interior and graphic design department. We have many education majors that you can choose from. We have engineering programs that we partner with the University of Pittsburgh for. We have health professional programs. We have humanities majors. We have math, natural and behavioral sciences. And we also have a brand new science center on our campus that just opened this year. So if you're interested in the sciences, all of your classroom space and lab space would be brand new. And we have visual and performing arts. So again, we have over 60 undergraduate majors. If you're interested in any of them, like I said, feel free to visit our website. 
and look more into detail about the majors. So the whole reason you come to college and study hard is to get a job after graduation. So here at LaRoche, we're really proud to report that 94% of our graduates are either employed in the military, doing some sort of service um, within a year of graduation. So our students are pretty successful and that's due to our student academic and support services offices on our campus. They're there to help students build their resume, they help them write cover letters, um, they even do mock interviews with you, which is my favorite part. I don't know about all of you, but I get super jittery and nervous when it comes to interviews. So it's really nice to get those jitters out and practice a little bit before the real deal. Um, these are just some examples of places that our students have interned and worked for. And it's not an exhaustive list by any means, but it just goes to show you how many opportunities there really are in the Pittsburgh area. We always like to point out the three professional sports teams that you can see right here. Um, we've actually had one student who interned with the Pirates and the Penguins while he was a LaRoche student. And then he graduated and ended up working for the Steelers in their marketing department. So kind of hit all three of them. Um, but like I said, you can see there are tons of opportunities, whatever field you're interested in. If any of you have not yet been able to visit campus, um, we are offering in-person visits right now just with a few restrictions. And we also have a really great virtual tour. Um, the virtual tour will give you a 360 degree view of our residence halls. So we'll just tell you a little bit about them. Um, as a freshman, if you decide to live on campus at LaRoche, you only have one other roommate. Um, and you guys share a private bathroom, as you can see in the photos. This is a really big piece for a lot of our students who are moving away from home for the first time um, to give themselves an added level of privacy. We also provide um, a mini fridge and mini microwave for our students. Our dorms are internet and cable ready, um, so students can feel free to bring their own televisions and just hook up to the cable. Um, all of our laundry facilities are also free for students. You'll just need to bring your own um, dish or laundry detergent um, and whatever dryer sheets you prefer to use. This is a really cool feature um, and we actually have an app that students can download, which will show you which facilities are free um, and are not in use at the moment. So you don't have to chug your laundry all the way down to the laundry room and find out that all the machines are taken, which is super cool. We did not have that when I was in school. Um, we also have an exercise room available in Bold Hall, which is the freshman dorm. So if you're ever rushing or trying to pull an all-nighter and you need to just take 15 minutes to clear your head before you get back to a problem set, um, it's really helpful to just go down and jump on a treadmill rather than needing to take a walk around campus late at night or go all the way down to the gym if the gym is closed. Um, we also offer 24-hour security for students. We have a great office of public safety here on campus. They are very dedicated to our students. And for anyone who is a little bit concerned about going a little bit farther away from home, one of the really cool aspects of what we do here at La Roche is that if a student ever gets sick or has an injury and needs to go to a doctor's office or a hospital for any reason, um, our public safety office will take them and someone will stay with the student until the parents can get there. So I know that's always a really big piece that makes parents feel a little bit more comfortable about sending their students to La Roche. Uh, this is my favorite thing to talk about is the food. Um, food is something that I really think is an important part of the college atmosphere, especially if you're living here and eating here for four years. Um, we are very fortunate to have sage here at La Roche and this is really cool because all of our ingredients are sourced by local farms and markets and all of our food is made fresh. So everything is made at home here at the school. Um, that's a really cool aspect just for me because I think it's really nice that we are constantly involved in our community um, and that everything is just fresh and it's not pre-processed. Um, we every day have soup, uh, salad, and sandwich bars for students for lunch and dinner, um, as well as different foods from different parts of the world. So every day they pick a different country to spotlight in our world cafe. We also have a couple of grab and go options, um, and this is at the Red Hawk Cafe or at the Nest, which is down in Kerr, the fitness center. 
We also have 30 different clubs and organizations here at La Roche. Um, you'll notice that a lot of time and a lot of what you do in college is actually outside of the classroom. So I just wanna spotlight a few of the things that you can do to get involved on campus. We have a great student life organization here at La Roche. Uh, one of our more popular clubs to join is called LAF. It's the La Roche Activities Forum. They're in charge of any dances that we host here on campus, as well as our spring concert. Um, you can see a photo of one of our previous spring concerts here. We also have a mission and ministry office, which is always looking for students to get more involved. If you are a member of the Catholic faith and if you're practicing, we do offer masses and other sacraments throughout the school year and throughout the week. Um, you'll get an email every week letting you know what services we offer. If you are not a practicing Catholic, we do have an interfaith prayer group as well as an interfaith choir that was just started. Um, so there's definitely ways for you to get involved with that regardless of your background. We also have a lot of really cool service learning opportunities. Um, we've had a few alternative spring break trips that we do with the Study USA program that Tori was talking about earlier. Um, in recent years, they've gone to areas that were really hit by natural disasters to do Habitat for Humanity type work. And we have 14 D3 athletic teams here at La Roche. Um, our students are great athletes. We are always very excited to cheer them on. And it's really nice how close all of our athletic fields and the basketball and volleyball courts are to main campus. Um, it's just a short walk. So it's always just a really cool atmosphere to go down and cheer on your classmates. All right, so we talked a lot about what we have on campus. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about what's off our campus and what's nearby. Um, we are in the suburbs of Pittsburgh in the North Hills. We're about 15, 20 minutes from downtown Pittsburgh. So we're not too far away from all of the excitement of downtown. A lot of our students will go downtown for pirate games, penguin games, Steeler games. Um, our student development office will take students downtown for the musicals. Um, Sometimes they'll just bus students downtown, drop them off, let them eat and shop for a little bit, and then bus them back to campus. So even though we're not downtown, um, we, our students are still very involved. Um, we also have a lot of our students do internships and take jobs downtown. But right across from us on our campus, you can kind of see our campus there in the background, um, is McCandless Crossing. It's in, within walking distance of campus, and it's kind of like an outdoor mall. So they have a lot of restaurants, stores, they have a movie theater. So if you don't have a car on campus, but you still wanna catch a movie with your friends or go out to dinner on the weekend, you can do that um, and just walk right across here to McCandless Crossing. And this is my favorite thing that's near our campus, North Park. It's about five minutes away. They have a lot of hiking trails, biking trails. There's a zip line course. Um, and you can see the lake here that they have. It's a huge lake that you can kayak, paddleboard, paddle boat, um, all of that fun stuff. If outdoor sports are not your thing, that's okay. Um, there's a really awesome restaurant that sits right on the lake. So you can just sit there and eat and look at how pretty it is, um, especially in the fall with all the pretty leaves changing colors. So now we're gonna, gonna kind of shift gears and talk a little bit about the admissions process. So I'll tell you a little bit about the admissions process for freshmen. Erin will tell you a little bit about the process for transfers, and then she'll give you a little bit of information about our tuition and financial aid. Um, so the admissions process for freshmen students, so high school seniors, um, is listed here. You do have to send us your application. You can fill out an application online or through paper, but I would assume most of you these days are gonna be submitting something online. We have an application on our website and we also take the Common App. So if you're already filling out the Common App, that works for us as well. Um, our application everywhere is free, so you don't have to worry about paying a fee for that. Once we have your application, the other materials that we need would be a high school transcript and then either your SAT or ACT scores or a letter of recommendation from your high school guidance counselor or a teacher. So if you were unable to take the SAT or ACT because of COVID, we understand. Um, we did move to test optional. So if you don't have the test scores, don't panic. You can send us a letter of recommendation instead from either your high school guidance counselor 
or a teacher. We are rolling admissions, so once we have those three things, we can move forward with your application and let you know with, about your acceptance within about a week or two. For transfer students, um, it's a little bit different. Uh, we do still have the free online application for transfers. We are on the Common App as well for that process. Um, we will need you to submit your college transcript from the most recent school you've attended. Um, so if you've bounced around a little bit before you figured out what it was you wanted to do, um, just send us your most recent one and we can go from there. You'll also need to schedule a credit evaluation appointment with someone um, like myself, who's your admissions counselor, and we'll go through together and look at which classes you've taken and how they can come in as LaRoche courses. We also strongly recommend that you add LaRoche to your FAFSA. Um, our school code is listed there. It is the same code for both freshmen and transfers. So I'd recommend everybody write this down really quickly. Our FAFSA school code for LaRoche is 003987. Um, if a transfer student, if you took the ACT or the SAT before you started school anywhere, um, you can feel free to send them to us as well. And then you will meet with an admissions counselor again to register for classes. We at La Roche are very, very aware of the cost of tuition at school. We understand that college is something that is an investment. Um, and we try really hard to make sure that students are able to afford to come to La Roche because they want to come based on our academics. One of the ways that we do this is through helping um, with different types of aid. So we offer more than $11 million in merit scholarships each year um, to students at La Roche. Last year, our merit scholarships went up to $17,500 per year um, for students who lived on campus. This is based on a on an equation um, based on students' GPA and test scores. And 91% of our students at La Roche receive some kind of financial aid. Tuition um, for us at La Roche is just under $30,000. Um, and you can see that room and board is just under $12,000 as well. Um, I do like to just make a note here that our average cost or average merit scholarship for students last year was $15,000 if they lived on campus. So as you can see, that cuts the cost of your tuition in about half. Um, so that's just something that we like to point out to make sure that students don't get a little overwhelmed with what is called the sticker price, um, because we don't expect you to think that this is exactly what you're going to have to pay. Um, again, every student who is accepted to La Roche will receive some kind of merit scholarship. Again, we are very aware of the cost of school. Um, and so we are very, very fortunate to be able to offer students a 20% lower cost of tuition than other private colleges in the entire country. And we rank first um, among the universities in the region with the least student debt upon graduation as well. So we know that students are always thinking about the cost of college, not only when they're here, but also years and years down the road. Um, so again, we do everything in our power to make sure that you can come to La Roche if this is the school you've just edited on. Because this is your goal. We want you to come to La Roche and thrive and enjoy your time, but ultimately to graduate with a job and a career that you're very passionate about. So this is something that we're working with you on, even as high school seniors, even as people before you've submitted your application. This is what we are in this job to help you find. So thank you all for joining us. Um, we hope that you contact us with any questions. Um, you can find our social media um, right here. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook for any updates about the university. And if you want to contact us, our freshman admissions office, transfer admissions office, and our financial aid office information is all listed right here. Thank you so much again for joining us, everyone.